I want to hear just a little bit about like your first scene, like what it was like when you showed up, what were you expecting, how you felt afterwards. Um, I didn't really have time to put a lot of thought into it. It kind Maybe of, that's a good thing. I am someone who's pretty, um, like, I'm very, like, I could be compulsive and be like, okay, I'm doing this now, like, you know, put a parachute on a jump off of a cliff type of a person. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I'm doing this, so let's do this. So when I got to set, it was the biggest mansion I have ever seen in my entire life up in Mount Olympus in, Be like, Beverly Hills area. Mm -hmm. I, like, am driving up this, like, roads up to like the most beautiful place and I'm like oh my gosh and then once I parked in front of the place that's when I got nervous because like there's like huge columns there's like huge gold statues outside and I'm just like what am I doing I have a feeling I know what house you're talking about yeah because you know how like there's just like a limited number of, of like houses. houses in LA that yeah. will you shoot porn there I'm like going through the Rolodex of locations in my head and I'm like okay I think I know whose place that is yeah it was it was one that was used quite often then yeah and but I didn't know that, so I like walk. I like had no idea what to say. Like when you first walk in, you know, they told me to bring a backpack of like a backpack of stuff and a guitar. So I'm like walking into this porn set with my little backpack on and a guitar, like not knowing what I'm doing. There's people everywhere. Um, I think like I was like, oh, um, where am I supposed to be? And they eventually get me to the makeup room. And Celeste was already in makeup at the time. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I hear it's your very first scene ever. And I was like, yes, it is. And she's like, well, have you thought about this? And I'm like, no, I have <laughs> not thought about this at all. I am just here and I am doing this. And, this. and like you said, I'm in a mansion. I have an agent already. I'm like... This is better than like a back alley Craigslist gig. Right, you right. Know? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, this seems legit. Yeah. This all seems really legit. There's a makeup artist. There's like cameras being set up. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And she's like, well, you haven't thought about this. She's like, have you ever watched girl, girl porn? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I have never seen a girl, girl porn before in my life. Wow. And then she's like, have you ever watched any porn? No. <laughs> Wait, I've, you've never watched I never porn? watched a porn before I shot my first scene. I never saw a single video. Wow. Ever. Wow. So she's now I see her starting to get nervous I know. in the makeup chair. And she's like, and she like looked at everyone in the room. She's like, can I just have everyone leave the room for a minute and have a moment with Aiden? <laughs> and wow. she cleared out the room, had the makeup artist clear out, and she goes, Okay. She goes, Do you want to do this? And I'm like, yeah, I do. She goes, okay, you're sure because your family will see it. Your friends will see it. This will follow you. Like you are on a major set right now. And I'm like, yeah, no, I, I can do it. Totally, totally fine. And she's like, okay, well, if that's your answer, we should probably go over how to do a porn scene before we start filming. So um, she then like showed me positions and how to open up to the camera and how to like put like your face on the side of a girl's leg so you can lick so the camera could still see, but yet you're not obstructing everything. Yep. And she showed me a couple of the basic positions and all of that was like pretty chill. And everything. And um, then she, yeah, and then she helped me pick up my wardrobe. She had jewelry in, like, this perfectly organized jewelry box that, like, I, you know, I had stuff thrown in a backpack. Mm -hmm. And, like, her stuff was, like, perfectly organized by, like, what set. So she, like, picked out jewelry for me that matched my outfit. And then we told the director we were, you know, I got in makeup. And then we told the director we were ready. Wow. That is like that is very heartwarming for me to hear mm -hmm. that the first thing she did was like check in with you and like kind mm -hmm. of your mental health situation and like yeah. that you were like okay doing this and made sure that you understood what you were doing because we've all heard the stories of girls who've gotten to porn not actually understanding what they were getting into. Yeah, I had honestly no idea what I was getting into at the time, but she tried to make sure that like I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> right. Which was very sweet and like I will always remember that moment and always be very thankful for Celeste yeah. for taking the time and actually talking to me a bit about that on my very first shoot, which has probably led to a lot of my longevity in this industry yeah. because I did have, 
a pretty good experience on my first shoot, especially compared to some of the horror stories. I'm sure a lot of people have heard, like, I was pretty lucky, especially for how I got into the industry, literally cold calling the internet. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.